Maloni, Talofa, hello, what's good? My name is Olivia Fuai, and uh, I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the behind the scenes of our Laka Laka music video. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, yes, I did sing the song, but I also directed and choreographed the video, which was so much fun. Luckily, I stumbled upon Aladdin from the Box Studios, who uh, was my DOP and did an amazing job. And I had uh, Faye Lippo um, from Lippo Fashion to help me bring my costume ideas to life and uh, many other talented people who you will see, hopefully, footage of in this uh, behind the scenes. So the first scene that we shot was the waterfall scene, which was um, which was really cool. I really liked the idea of dancing under a waterfall. What what time did you guys wake up today? We I woke up <laughs> yesterday. Libby's gonna kill me. Yeah, I woke up at 11:30 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. How yeah, about you, Libby? I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> She hasn't been to bed, man. <laughs> the generator's gonna be, need to be carried down a treacherous trail. It was like that someone tried to put a staircase there, but the stairs aren't in place. But then there was an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> and the stairs, now that... Hey, it's funny now. <laughs> it's funny now. <laughs> One unforeseen thing that happened though was we did shoot it in winter um, and very early in the morning so it was actually very cold. <laughs> I just remember everyone was like super rugged up with all their thick jumpers and uh, it was suddenly dawning on me that I had to take all of that off. I was okay with the cold but I didn't realize that my feet were going to go entirely numb. When your feet are numb you kind of don't have uh, balance. <laughs> so I was finding it a little bit difficult to actually move. So that was fun. I do really love um, the shots of the waterfall, how they turned out, um, especially that beginning, that pan down, um, the waterfall looks so beautiful. So after we wrapped the waterfall scene, we took a short drive to the cliff where we shot the big conductor mountain scene, which Oh, it's just such an amazing visual. My brother, Matatia, who played the conductor, I told him my idea and obviously to me it had, you know, a bit more of a deep and potentially spiritual type meaning and so I told him what I was going for and he really took it on board and he even gave it more depth than it originally had. You know, he did his research as to what specific moves in conducting meant what. Bro, you slayed that. Thank you. I really loved the daylight beach scene because it was quite a literal representation of what I was trying to say. Um, just having people of different different cultures dancing in styles of different islands all together and just like celebrating your individual culture and how beautiful it is but also celebrating it together. You know how it is. We're all family uh, so it's cool to celebrate what makes you different but also what makes you similar. How are you feeling? Right, I'm ready to go! Yeah, she's ready. Hello. Hello. Hi Emily. Hi. How did, how did you feel? Look. Amazing. It just felt awesome to bring um, Samoa here in Sydney. My name is Alaris. My name is Viniana. And how old are you? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Libby, which Polynesian nation are you representing? Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm a mix. I'm, a, I'm representing the modern mixed Polynesian. How do you feel? about seeing all these different cultures together today. So beautiful. Oh, I love it. This is what the song's all about. So this scene three, is one, two, probably means three, the most to me. Obviously I couldn't have every single island because my budget's only so big, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it was just nice to have enough there to represent at least diversity. Okay, so we're here on um, day four of the Laka Laka music video shoot. Tonight we're doing a very, very fun scene. I've been looking forward to the scene for a long time. A Polynesian beach party. And we've got a lot of beautiful people coming tonight to dance with us. And we're going to have a little dance off the girls and the guys. It's going to be pretty cool. This is the last day of a four day shoot, which is crazy because I think four days is a lot for a music video.
I'm really excited for tonight and I'm really happy it's the last night. Very, very risky business. Risky, delicate. We were sort of just excited and surprised to the fact that we just got the opportunity to actually just join and actually perform with Olivia and yeah. not just Olivia, just with the whole Tevaka crew and like a whole bunch of extras and like it's just cool how everyone just came together. Can you show us a bit of what you're gonna do? Uh, some little tips. Uh, flowers, flower hands, just a little sneak peek. Can we get a half-time update? Yes, okay. We're almost there. We've got three more shots and this is the last day. Day four. The last thank you for the extra lighting. It's looking great. We have a little dance-off that is about to go down. It's freezing cold but we're pretending like it's summer. <laughs> into the behind the scenes of the Laka Laka music video. Once again, shout out to the amazing team who made this possible. Tevaka Management, Julie Hawaii, my mother, um, Opataya Hawaii, my brother, Nofatia Hawaii, Bob Disney Records for promoting the song. This is hard. Uh, Le Paul, uh, Jay Kido Management, and many more wonderful people. Um, yeah, I hope you watching the video feel the love that everyone put into it because there was a lot of love in there and uh, that's what it's all about.